can thought be aware of itself as it is taking place, or does the awareness come after the thought? Can consciousness be aware of its whole content? You know, I'll read once more. Can thought be aware of itself as it is taking place, or do, does the awareness come after the thought? Can consciousness be aware of its whole content? <coughs> Most of us <coughs> are aware after the happening, right? After the incident, after an action, then we say, "I have, I should have done, I shouldn't have done." The questioner asks, "Can thought be aware of itself as it arises, not after?" Which is fairly simple. Which is what most of us do. But the question is, <coughs> can thought as it arises be can there be awareness of that? You understand the question? You understand the question at least? Can you be aware? Please listen to this. Of your thought. Can that is? Can thought be aware of itself as it arises? You understand the question? That is, you are your whole one's whole life is based on thought. Thought recognizing the emotion, the sentiment, the romantic feelings, the imagination, and so on. Thought is recognizing all this, right? Oh, I am very emotional, and so on. Now, thought is the is our instrument of all action. Right? Therefore, there is no spontaneity. If you look into yourself seriously, spontaneity can only exist when there is complete, total freedom. Psychologically. So, th- can you, can your mind? Be aware of itself as thought arises. That is, can you be? Can one be? Is there an awareness as when you begin to be angry? You follow all this? Can there be an awareness as jealousy arises? Can there be an awareness as greed comes like a be aware of that? Can there be? Or you are aware that you have been jealous, or that you have been greedy, or that you have been angry. That's fairly simple. Most of us do that. But to be aware so attentively, the, you can see for yourself the anger coming in, the adrenaline and all the processes, the whole movement of anger. You can see greed come into being. See something you want, and the, you follow the reaction. To be to be aware of that, of course one can, as it arises. Now the question is a little more 
different, my more deep, is can thought, please listen to this, which is, you can be aware as anger arises, that's very simple. But is there an awareness of thought, th- awareness of thought itself? I want, you understand what I'm saying? You are thinking now, aren't you? Or are you all <laughs> absent-minded? You are thinking now, aren't you? Now, as you are thinking, find out if that thinking can be aware of itself, not you aware of thinking. You, you understand the problem? I wonder if you see this. For it is great. It's ex- this is really great fun if you go into it. Not only fun, it's very, very serious, because we can go very, very deeply into all this. That is, you are thinking about something, about your dress or your look, or what people have said, what uh, you're going to meet, and this and that. Thinking is there. Now, take one thought and see if that thought can know itself. Uh, yes, sir, this, is, this requires tremendous attention, and which you are not used to. You are thinking about the dress you have had, or you are going to buy, The thought that arises, can that thought say, yes, I'm awake? You understand? I'm aw- I'll, I see myself itself, not you observe the thought, because you are also thought. You understand? So you are not aware as thought arises. But thought itself is aware as it comes into being. I wonder if you see this. No. Right? There's one question. The other is can consciousness be aware of its whole content? You understand? Consciousness, to put it very quickly and briefly, is its content, isn't it? Your belief, your name, your nationality, your um, prejudices, your opinions, your conclusions, your hopes, your uh, despairs, your depression, your concern about yourself, you believe and you don't believe, you believe in being a British, not British, you follow a God, no God. So all that, your anxiety, your fears, all that is the content of you, right? your sexual demands, your urges, your pleasures, all that is your consciousness. And can that consciousness, please listen to it, be aware of its own content as a whole, not just part? You get the point? No, you can't. You don't do it. (laughs) This real meditation, you understand? Not all the nonsense that goes on. Because to see the whole of your being, not just your sexual demands, because sex isn't your only life. There are fears, death, anxiety, guilt, Despair, depression, you follow? Sorrow, all that's part of your life. So all that is your consciousness. Now the questioner asks, can your consciousness be aware of its whole content? That means, can you observe? Is there an ob? Not you observe. Is there an observation of the whole thing? Uh, 
One has to go very deeply into this. We haven't time, but I'll go briefly into it. <coughs> that consciousness is put together by time, through time, through what we call evolution. Um, you have had incidents, accidents, remembrances, racial, national, and so on, family. All that is a movement contained in consciousness. Right? And is it ever possible to be completely free of that content? You understand? No, you you are not interested in all this. This is really very important because otherwise we are always acting in the field of the known. The known being the unknown also, the ignorance. There is never freedom. That is the man living always in the past, as you do. You may project that past into the future, as an idea, as a hope and so on, but it is still the movement of the past, modified through the present. Right? So, a man who is completely, more or less living in the past, what is his mind? You understand? He may have new techniques, new um, opportunities to learn other forms of skills, but it is the, centrally in himself, his consciousness is the movement of the past. Right? So, a man who is living in the past, or a woman, what happens to his brain, mind? It never, can never be free. So, the, a man who inquires into this very seriously <coughs> has to find out whether this whole consciousness with its content can be seen at once, which is to have total insight into this. I don't know if you ever considered looking at anything wholly, to look at your wife or your girl or your husband, whatever it is, wholly, not just her face or this or that, but the whole quality of another human being. And you can only do that when the you is not. You understand? When you are not centred here, me. The me is very small, very petty, because the me is the accumulation of all this. So, when you begin to inquire into this, whether it is possible to see the whole content and movement of consciousness, which means the whole structure of the being, <coughs> that requires pure observation, you understand? Not your direction, prejudice, like and dislike, or all the rest of it, but just purely to observe this vast structure, very complex. Because of its very complexity, you must come to it very simply. Right? <coughs> 